the Fantasy Skirmisher. Hey everyone, this is Nevin. Welcome back to the Fantasy Skirmisher. And today I have a quick uh, terrain shout out for Mats by Mars. And these are vinyl play mats. And to be honest, um, before I got these, I was never interested in vinyl mats because I always thought they were inferior to the mouse pad style ones. And I gotta admit, um, I'm very impressed by these and I was wrong in my assumptions. So I bought two mats, uh, one for the Sinbad adventure I did, the uh, jungle you know, t lost temple terrain. And I also bought the, where is it? There it is the arena for my upcoming Cell Swords and Spell Slingers campaign. And I wanted to buy a couple others as well, just uh, things that caught my eye. So I've got three two by two mats, because uh, I did a second order after my initial two. And I've got a couple three by threes. So this is kind of a ruined city. So you can see it's overgrown, uh, you know, the stones are cracked. And uh, this would be great for a variety of uh, scenarios that I plan to do. And the train I have in mind for this is by Battle Systems, and it's their uh, ruined monastery because uh, the artwork also has like vines and growth uh, going up, up on the monastery. And I think it would be a great extension to this. And then I've got a city square, uh, which I also need for the Cell Swords and Spell Slingers um, campaign. And then you've seen this already in an earlier video, uh, but this is the uh, arena and they come in two different styles uh, with you know blood and gore on it like I have and also one with a clean sand Now one thing I really like about these mats is I've got some serious lighting on this because I'm filming at night so I got a ring light here and I've got uh, another light there and as you can see you know from the filming there's really a little to no glare so it's very impressive the feel of the vinyl uh, it kind of has like a, a textured feel to it. And I just got these mats today, open up today. Uh, the, the mushroom forest here and uh, these two, I just laid them on the table and you can see they just lay flat right away. There's no curling, uh, which was something I always, was always concerned about when it came to vinyl mats. And uh, in addition to, you know, the, uh, the mat itself, if you want, depending on the type of game you're playing, uh, you can have like grid overlays, uh, you know, hexagons, squares. And so there's a lot of different uh, options because these are basically print on demand and you don't have to wait that long to, um, to get these in the mail. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. The ruined city, you could just see the detail. It's very fine, really impressive. As does this one. And of course, you know, we've got the uh, arena. And another thing I like about um, these mats is that I could keep this on the table. And if I could put one of my mouse pad mats over this. And so it really cuts down on the storage because uh, the Fantasy Scrumpture Studios is in a small New York City apartment, so I don't have a lot of space for a hobby that requires a lot of space. You know, with the terrain, the miniatures, the mats, everything else. And so this is going to be a great uh, space-saving feature for me as well. Um, and another thing I like about this is my table is exactly, you know, 36 by 36 inches. And the neoprene mats... They, you know, they're anything but 36 by 36. I've had to trim a number of them down to size, uh, but these ones are cut pretty darn accurately. So let me go ahead and uh, remove uh, the two by two ones, and we'll take a closer look at the uh, mushroom forest. Now, this looks like a psychedelic nightmare, and it kind of is. <laughs> it's called uh, Mushroom Forest. And uh, the train I have in mind for this is something I don't own yet. Uh, Arkham Studios, uh, Dungeon Lasers uh, are starting to fulfill um, some orders from their latest um, project. And one of them is Elven Woods, which has um, nice rocks, uh, but the rocks have a lot of details with vines and flowers and mushrooms. And I think that would blend in, you know, uh, very well with this type of mat, as opposed to what I have is just, you know, straight up rocks. 
And also uh, there's other types of uh, things you put on here, like a very colorful trees from uh, Monster Fight Club. They have different um, tree tops you could put on, like pink and blue ones, which I have. And so you could create something very whimsical, but kind of foreboding at the same time. And uh, the scenario I have in mind for this mat is the infected trees or uh, ranges for Shadow Deep. And I think uh, that would be an awesome uh, mat for that scenario. Going through the woods, you got the infected trees over here, got the spiders, you know, all through here. And uh, I think another fun thing to do is just buy some mushroom and paint them all up and uh, do a scenario like that. Now, the other mat I have, which was the uh, my original purchase, is of course this uh, temple here. <clears throat> and they have a few different styles. Uh, this one, it's just, I just, it's just absolutely beautiful. I just love the details of this. And it works so well with my uh, Sinbad scenario. All right, guys. Well, that is all I have. Again, uh, these are really high quality mats uh, from Mars, Mats by Mars. And I just uh, encourage you to take a look at their website. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.